Thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring this video, our favorite brand to work with. Right, Tara, take it away. Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside Gregory. Alba. Well, he did a hand move and so did I. We are watching Monsters vs. Aliens. How'd you like that? I loved it. That, that was great. It was good, right? It I sound good. like an alien. You guys are going to go at home, go to fall asleep, and you go, God, I can't get the alien Tara thing out of my head. So you gotta leave a like for that. You yep. gotta leave a comment, and you also gotta not forget to ring the bell. Whoa! Ring the bell. Whoa! That was weird. See, I went to the alien mode Whoa. for the song too. So you guys know. Wow, Whoa. I am talented. See, he talented sees it. Is the he word sees for that. it. Everybody <laughs> was absolutely gonna use that word as well. Thanks also to Prepper for helping us edit down these videos. Also, if you join Patreon, we call you super sexy. Everybody loves to be called sexy, right? When someone walks up to you, you're like, you look sexy. You're like, <gasps> yeah. Women love it when you do that. To what? Them. <laughs> what? I uh, thank you so much. You hear that, guys? It's never happened to if me. If you just want to go up to Tara, <laughs> go up like, to your own. You look sexy. <laughs> your own. This woman's gonna be hey, okay with that. <laughs> I'm gonna start cold sweating and go. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't even know what to do with myself. If you join Patreon, Greg and John offer exclusive highlights of watch alongs over there. And also you can sync up with your whole entire copy and watch like basically the whole movie with me and Gregory. Anyway, we should talk to the patrons now, right? We should get into this movie. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's okay. do the Patreon intro. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, it's DreamWorks. <gasps> hey, we like the DreamWorks movie. We like the DreamWorks. We like, uh, you know, the banana. banana. <laughs> Next week, we should watch that. <gasps> cool. I love me some aliens. What a fun way to set the tone. Beep boop, beep boop. I love watching animated movies with you, Tara. Because <laughs> I go beep boop, beep boop. Is that a lone survivor or is it a... Nope. Yeah. Classic alien okay. score. Way to harmonize. That was good, huh? Oh, they're coming for us. Why do they always land in like the Arctic? <laughs> yeah, they never <laughs> land like in the city. <laughs> And Whoa. if they do, they're trying to kill us. That burger looks insane. This movie was in 3D. <laughs> ah, that's a cool <laughs> point of view. You might want to check this one out. Uh, Palomar just picked it up. Looks like some type of UFO, and it's heading this way. So how many times do I have to tell you this? UFOs don't exist, and we're never going to see you. are so full of poop. A lot you know. Holy cheez -its. what do we do? No one ever told us what to do. The only reason I took the job is because you never have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Modesto, California. I've never been to Modesto. I, I don't even know California. that that exists. Oh yeah, it's a real place. I repeat, cut me line. That's what it's like working with Tara. <laughs> <laughs> That's Greg every time I come here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I am. It's an emergency. I have no time and I haven't slept. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Is this person just snoring? Or dying? They're being watched right now. Oh, that's the voice behind the camera, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's five o'clock in the morning. Hurry, turn on the TV, turn it on now. Wow, you look great for waking up at five in the morning. Yeah. 75 degrees, a perfect day to stop by the old folk art and craft show down at the fairgrounds. Or a perfect day to marry Susan Murphy. Whoa. Oh. I love you, baby. I love you too. Weatherman. And good morning, Modesto. Channel 172. <laughs> Uh, I love 
Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> That's awesome. Blur. <gasps> Seth Rogen? <gasps> yes. Hugh Laurie. Cool. Great cast. I know. I love recognizable voices. Hello, everyone. Attention, attention. Crane what? Wilson, there's like there's so many TV every, show actors every in Every name in here <laughs> is in this movie. It's like a fairy tale. The Weatherman and the Weatherman. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd is in this? I can't even pay attention to the movie. This time tomorrow, I'm going to be in Paris. Derek will become an anchor or a foreign correspondent and will travel all over the world. Ah, honey, my fingers are crossed. Uh, One thumb is shorter than the other. It runs in the family. Oh, oh I, I didn't, didn't even, even notice, notice that. that. <laughs> Your kids are going to have it. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Stephen Colbert. <laughs> I've just spent way too much time with our parents. Don't worry, okay? We'll be alone soon. That's Paul Rudd. Yeah. There's been a slight change of plans. What? We're not going to Paris. Why not? Because we're going somewhere better. Oh, to the meteor? Fresno. Fresno! In what universe is <laughs> Fresno better than Paris, Derek? <laughs> I've got an audition to become Channel 23's new evening anchor universe. Oh, God. What a snooze. She doesn't want to live in Fresno. <sighs> now look about Paris. It's fine, as long as we're together. Fresno is the most romantic city in the whole world. This marriage is off to a terrible start. This isn't going to work. It's bad luck to see me in my dress. Oh, come on. You know I don't believe in that stuff. <laughs> You'll believe in that. I hope an alien kills him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's already happening. I mean, he can skyrocket to being a big reporter if he covers this shit. Is this how she gets white hair in the poster? Yeah, it has to be. Oh, that's her on the poster? I think. I mean, I just glanced at it. She had, the poster girl had short white hair or something. Susan, where have you been? I think I just got hit by a meteorite. Every bride feels that way on her wedding day. Not taking notice at all of the amount of scrapes and dirt. A giant hole in the ground. Or, yeah, the earth a rumbling. I think DreamWorks often puts a lot of attention to detail on their camera work. Yeah, which is what makes them so cool. Are we just brushing past the whole meteor thing? I believe so. <laughs> nobody, nobody felt the rumble. Wow, you're glowing. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Susan, you're like really glowing. You're green. She was just hit by a meteor. Oh, oh. It? oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. Oh my gosh! What's going on? What's happening here? It's a meta. Oh, it's it a is me her. Uh -uh. Ah! Is she the monster? <laughs> this is impossible! Oh. Whoa. You're ruining God's house! <laughs> Get out of there, lady. You keep growing. You're gonna be in the nude. Report on it, Derek. Just get out of there, Derek. Here comes the bride. Great shot, damn. It's her wedding day. <laughs> it's her wedding day. <laughs> I'm hurt, Derek. Susan. Thank goodness, you're okay. She's like King Kong. Who are you people? What are you doing? Stop it! Be careful! She is like King Kong. No one knows who you are. You're the weatherman, sir. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's really fortunate that dress also expanded, too. <laughs> yeah. Derek. Whoa, it's coming right at me. Baby, why just set the alarm? We're on our honeymoon. She's still a massive freak. <laughs> With a rude awakening awaiting her. Yo, this movie's cool. It's like a full-blown sci-fi movie. Yeah, it's kind of like got Stranger Things vibe when they put Eleven in an elevator and take it down to the basement. What a perilous situation to be in. 
This is the worst wedding ever. It's their honeymoon. Hello? She's and mate five? <gasps> she is a giant freak. Awesome. Hello? Is there someone in there? Yummy. They Hello? Crafted together a massive spoon for her? I guess so. Uh, what is that? Hello. Ew! <laughs> Please, madam, stop doing that! Oh. <laughs> Whatever mad scientist made you, he really went all out. Hi there! Rogan! Ah! Uh. Ah! Oh, my back! Just kidding! I don't have a back! <laughs> Forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even... Oh, oh, I forgot how to breathe! Don't know how to breathe! Uh -huh. oh, Suck <laughs> in, Bob. Oh, he's being serious. Wow, look at you. I know what you're thinking. First day in prison, you want to take down the toughest guy in the yard? Well, I'd like to see you try. Will Arnett. Ninja! That's me in every Pilates class. <laughs> I'm afraid we are not making a very good first impression. At least I'm talking. First new monster in years, we're gonna get like a wolfman or a, or a mummy, just, you know, somebody to play cards with. Oh my god, they've been in prison this whole time. Might we ask your name, madam? Susan. No, no, no. We uh, mean we mean like your monster name. Like what do people scream when they see you coming? <laughs> Couch! Here comes Susan. <laughs> so the world that inhabits is like a 1950s like sci-fi B movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. False. Oh, an old slipper. Okay, that's why she got a glop of something. Please tell me I just had a nervous breakdown at the wedding and now I'm in a mental hospital and I'm on medication. It's giving me hallucinations. Oh. There's something bigger than her? What? Competition. Oh, that's why she had five. She's the fifth one of them. Okay. Don't worry about it. Who's a handsome buddy? <laughs> Uh -oh. Monsters, oh. get back in your cell. This actually looks like it would have been a really fun 3D movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The name is General W.R. Monger. I'm in charge of this facility. Now follow me. It is time for your orientation. <laughs> it's really cool how they can put it in her POV and make it still seem tiny. Yeah, and then when they get closer to certain things, it's it changes into like the size of how she sees it, but then on the outside, it still looks very small. It seems like it switches back and forth, is my point, without me being annoyed by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just a regular person. I'm not a danger to anyone or anything. Three people dead. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Muses himself. <laughs> I want to go home. Don't think of this as a prison. Think of it as a hotel you never leave because it's locked from the outside. Mm -hmm. Like quarantine. <laughs> the government has changed your name to Ginormica. Poor Susan Ginormica. What a really interesting setup for a character, especially an animated movie. Take this wonder and... They really gave us the unexpected, didn't they? I think a great way to portray a monster is to see the wound from within them. That's true. Yeah. We're at the yeah. heart I'm of the matter right now, Gregory Alba. Take it serious. God, it's great. We got to see her her birth into monster land. Yeah. I get it. It's a metaphor for being a woman. <laughs> right? Let me explain it to you. <laughs> Man, explain it. Please. Begin reanimation sequence. Reanimation. Yeah, what is that? They're what bringing someone doing? back to life? Quantonium has been located on a distant planet. Quantonium? Oh. 
The trajectory of the Quantonian meteor has been traced to Sector 72-4, so, a planet locally known as Earth. So you can travel into, like, dimensions or something? I want it all. Every last drop. <laughs> It kind of looks like a messed up version of Megamind. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Freaking Megamind. Jim Nasty. Oh, thank goodness. It's the police. We weren't doing anything, officer. Yeah, nothing at all. <laughs> oh, great sound design. Wait, don't leave me alone. I like how he's the frightened one. She's yeah, the confidence. And stronger. his car <laughs> license plate says Jim Nasty. I think it's broken. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's carrying oh my it God, I love it. <laughs> I love the commitment to this. Whoa. That's a, a hell of an opacity transition. The President of the United States has arrived. I must approach it alone. This is all about peaceful communication. This movie is so much fun. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my they gosh, it looks so pretty. They really know how to capture like height and scale in this. Like, yeah. Even though it's not in 3D for us, you can feel the dimensions really yeah. well. Okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> This song probably came out in uh, like, what, 18? Uh, uh, 25. I was 25 when this <laughs> song came out. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. This is how he talks to the aliens. Plays and dances. All right. You got through? Yeah. How would he know that would work? Because he's the president of the United States. Oh, he's going to get, like, killed, isn't he? Maybe they just like talent. Oh, oh. dang it. Nope. Oh, it's going to morph. Holy tamale. Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> Light them up. Even the soldiers are like from an earlier era. <gasps> I love how this is all taking place at golden hour, so it's all really beautiful in the background. Yeah. E.T. Go, go home. home! Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a fun touch to That's actually funny. spray paint that on. You're dropping papers there, buddy. Oh God, the tongue too? Oh no, my gosh. Oh no, why the Surprisingly, but shh. There is some crass humor in here. <laughs> we need our top scientific minds on this. Get India on the phone. Can we transport the United States to a safer planet? I say we give this alien a green card and make him proud to be an American. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it all. What's the point? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> that button launches all of our nuclear missiles. Well, then which button gets me a latte? That would be the other one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President! Not only do I have Is an idea. Point? Oh, yeah. <laughs> From the butt <laughs> scan. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Amazing. We need a Hail Mary pass. We need raw power. We need monsters. A suicide yeah. squad. Mr. President. Say hello to Insectosaurus. Nuclear radiation turned him from a small grub into a 350-foot mm. tall monster. Oh, this is so cool. It's a fun little play on Godzilla. This handsome fellow is Dr. Cockroach, mm. PhD. He invented a scientific machine. It's like the fly and Jekyll and Hyde. Unfortunately, there was a side effect. Oh. We call this thing Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Genetically altered tomato was combined with a chemically altered ranch flavored dessert topping at a snack food plant. The resulting goop gained conscious. He's <laughs> <laughs> like the blob. Her entire body radiates with pure energy, giving her enormous strength and size. Cool. Don't we already have an alien problem, General? I don't think we need a monster problem, too. You got a better idea, nerd. Mm. Oh, sweet wedgie. 
I propose we go forward with your monsters versus aliens idea thingy. <laughs> Team of misfits, let's go. Let's do it. Have <laughs> Threes. He's like creature of the black lagoon. <laughs> yeah. Dude, how are you doing this? You're the luckiest guy I know. Yeah, it's a riff on like classic movie monsters. They called me crazy, but I'll show them. That looks like a light bright. <laughs> Guys, what choice do I have? If he can make me normal or even six foot eight, I can get out of here. I mean, I should be in. Let me guess, Fresno. Oh my god, yeah. You're... That's a plunger on her chin. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the switch, Doctor, but but don't do the laugh. Now you're going to feel a slight pinch. What if, what if she gets bigger? Probably will. Toaster pizza box. Small again? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid not, my dear. You may actually have grown. She did. The more she absorbs. Nobody's leaving. Nobody's ever getting out. Good news, monsters! You're getting out. Until today. <laughs> what about the blob? Can't the blob just like? Yeah. <laughs> like under a like door he, he or something. You should be able to. Yeah. Right. This is San Francisco. This isn't far from my home. You will not be welcome back. <laughs> it's a little hotter than I remember. Has the earth gotten warmer? That'd be great to know that. That'd be a very convenient truth. <laughs> That'd be a convenient truth. You didn't say anything about it being huge. Hello, welcome. We are here to destroy you. We are here to destroy mm. you. I'm gonna turn that oversized tin can into a really dented oversized. <laughs> <laughs> I love this setup of Susan so much. <laughs> wow. Would you look at the size of that fox? I got him, you guys! I got <laughs> Get to the city, Link. I'll catch up with you as soon as I can. Or maybe you'll have to catch up with me. He's got like a Vincent Price mustache. <laughs> it's too thin for my taste. I really love her character. She's just such yeah, like an underdog it's, situation. It's awesome. She's a fish out of water is what we call it. What? Oh my goodness. You have the quantum, quanta, quantica, whatever Yeah, you have energy. The, uh, that thing can't do anything to you. You're filled with the quantum kind of stuff. The quantum physics stuff. You've got it inside your soul. I would definitely be breaking into that tavern right now. <laughs> what a great use of the structures. Cool. That's really neat. Oh. She just realized <laughs> that's awesome. You're gonna discover some awesome, His awesome movies. skill sets here. Yeah, it's great because we're learning with Susan as <laughs> she's oh! becoming a monster. That's so cool. cool. That is awesome. How inventive. Yeah, girl. Turning cars into roller skates. Great action shots, man. <laughs> yep, that hurt. Oh. <laughs> the shots in this wow. movie, each one is awesome. <laughs> yeah, like, no, it's very well crafted. Catch me! Oh, ah! oh shoot. Uh-oh. No, save the truck. Oh, boy. Yeah, turn it, turn it back over. You got to do it with your big monster, monster moves. <gasps> Come on. Oh, she's becoming yeah. a hero. Uh oh. Ho oh. ho. Her teeth are like drills. I hate it. They're like dentist drills. I don't want it. Yay! In insect <laughs> guy. Ew. Ew! He's trying to kill me. Why is it doing that? Why would it? Go? Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. You've got power. You're amazing. <laughs> now break it. That's a cool little sound effect. <laughs> you can't crush a cockroach. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Move the dividers! Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's becoming a real leader. She is getting a hard workout right now, you guys. You can do this! Oh, shit. Whoa. Woo! Whoa. Oh. What a way to be gory without being gory. Cool. That lower life form thinks she can steal my quantonium. Oh, it's each eye moves. That's, that's cool. Susan is now too strong. You'll have to get in there yourself. Better course to Earth. I will retrieve the quantonium myself. I love the attention detail that every eye moves on its own. How is his coffee purple? I want it. I want purple coffee. Oh my goodness. In his ear? Three weeks ago, if you had asked me to defeat a giant alien robot, I would have said no can do. But I did it. You were positively heroic, my dear. You're going from Susan to gig Gigantus, whatever. Gigantica. I got that right. You'll be back to your old self in no time. And so will I. What happened to the, there isn't a jar in the world, I can't open stuff? My associate is trying to say is that we all think the new Susan is the cat's meow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me exactly how this normal life thing works with you being giant. I'm not going to be a giant forever. Derek won't rest until we've found a cure for my condition. Derek's moved on. He's self-absorbed. He's already in Fresno talking about the weather. Oh, no. He's doing nightly news. But he's sleeping with the weather girl. I called it. Dynormica, I called your family to let them know you were coming home. Thanks, General. She's not going to like it, Tara. Nope. <laughs> Susie Q! Mom? Daddy? Aw, they still love her. It's okay. <laughs> They're with me. These are my new friends. Oh, Derek! <laughs> I missed you so much! <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that got me through prison. I love you! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's my mother! You're suffocating her! <laughs> <laughs> I taste ham! Oh! Ew. Gross. Hi, I'm benzoate ostelazine bicarbonate. <laughs> or you can call me Bob. <laughs> or Blob. Whatever you do, do not provoke them. Anyone care for an atomic gin fizz? <laughs> it's got quite a... Oh no! Chlorine! Ah! Chlorine! Ha! Ha ha ha. Everyone run for your lives! <laughs> Oh, now they're breaking it down. That's great. Wait, 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 wait. Be, 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 be. Ouch. Oh, dear. Oh, you wouldn't believe my last three weeks. You just wouldn't believe it. Oh. Oh. oh you really are big. Mm -hmm. I'm still the same girl you fell in love with. Did just destroy the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> well, but that was the only way I was going to stop that giant robot. Did you ever think I could do something like that? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know that together we can find a way to get me back to normal. I have an audience that depends on me. <laughs> so you expect me to put all that on hold while you try to undo this thing that happened to you? Oh my God. He's such a jerk. Also, I was like, why is he working right now when he knows his wife is out huge somewhere? But I'm not looking to get married and spend the rest of my life in someone else's shadow. Yeesh. Oh God. Take him and throw him off the building. Just do it lightly. I'll flick him. We don't want him to die. We just want him to be hurt a little bit. Because he's a jerk. Your parents really know how to throw it down. Great party. One of the best I've been to mm -hmm. since I got out of prison. I must have been at a different party, because that's not how I interpreted it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Jello gave me a fake phone number. <laughs> we could save every city on the planet, and they'd still treat us the same way they've always treated us. Like monsters. Like the Ninja Turtles. Uh, how is Derek? 
is a selfish jerk. There was no us. There was only Derek. Why did I have to get hit by a meteor to see that? It's a metaphor. I mean, look at all the stuff I've done without him. Fighting an alien robot? That was me, not him. You're right. You could have done that without being giant. <laughs> you personally carried 250 co-eds off of Cocoa Beach and still had the strength to fight off the National Guard. And also the lifeguard. <laughs> Bob, who else could fall from unimaginable heights and end up without a single scratch? Link? Y you. <laughs> <laughs> Susan! This is where we get into the versus aliens part of the movie. Uh-oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. No, no, no! They wouldn't. No, he can't eat no, me. No, he's just gotta he be just, knocked okay. unconscious. Aww. Poor Insecto. Don't you close those eyes. Don't you dare close no. those eyes. No, no, no. No, no, it's gotta be a fake out. Oh, new outfit. I like it. Oh, she looks sexy and shimmery. You must be terrified. <laughs> That's like my name. Terrified. Strange, isn't it? It's not the first time. You really get around. <laughs> they have this interesting innuendo humor. <laughs> yes. Your enormous, grotesque body contains quantonium. You destroyed San Francisco just to get to me? Yeah, ka -ka 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 -ka. Your voice is grating on my ear nubs. That's what Greg says to me every day. Yeah, I try filming with her with the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. Don't bother. That force field is impenetrable. <laughs> what the flag not? Oh, yes, wow. girl. So she's probably more powerful than she realizes. All she needed to do was break up with Derek, and now she's flying. Ha! That should stop your puny. Oh my god. Cool. Whoa. Cool shots. God damn. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, the world building of this ship is awesome. I love how they switched this sequence for the perspective to be from the alien afraid of the monster. <laughs> yeah. Begin extraction. No. Oh. I mean, she might. Oh, man. No. She's going to be small again? After loving her life? Oh, man. Oh, she's just little Susan. She got what she wanted, but is it what she really wanted? No, of course not. Finally, I can rebuild my civilization. You keep your slimy tentacles off my planet. <laughs> If you wanted to stop me, you should have done it when you possessed the Quantonium. Now you're nothing. Not true. There are innocent people down there who didn't do anything. Find her strength. There were innocent people on my home planet before it was destroyed. Look, I'm sorry your planet was destroyed. Oh, don't be. I'm the one who destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Initialize cloning machine. Yes, Galaxy. So the planet, he'll just clone himself. When I was but a squidling, I found out my parents were... No child should ever have to endure that. <laughs> <laughs> and soon thereafter was married. <laughs> Things were going well, until she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was all, no way, and she was all, yes way. And I was like... But I've told you too much already. <laughs> <laughs> Let the birth of my new planet, Galaxars, begin! So it's just a bunch of hymns. Okay. The planet is just clones of him. A UFO has landed in America. <laughs> UFO. Uh -oh. <laughs> Humans of Earth, I have come in peace. I mean you no harm. However, it is important to note that most of you will not survive the next 24 hours. <laughs> I think that's Rain Wilson. Oh, yes, I think you're right. Wow, they're really dead? I guess. Maybe the Quantum Monaco could solve them. Because we're not going to let Insecto die in vain. 
We're gonna get up there, find Susan, and we're gonna take that alien down. Yeah. You got enough juice in those jetpacks to get you up there, but not enough to make it home. I'll come get you if I can. What do we do? That's a sign of respect. <laughs> oh, they each get jetpacks. I want a jetpack. Hard right, hard right, hard right. I can't shake it, I can't shake it. That's what I say after every first date. Can't shake him. <laughs> Uh, That's why I always wear a parachute, Lieutenant. Hail <laughs> 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 hey, No, 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 not all of you. You there. Yeah, that is Rain Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take the prisoner to the incinerator. She's useless to us now. She's got heart and soul and a brain, and she's going to find her way out of here. How are we supposed to get to her? There's too many of them. But I have an idea. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. It's really bad. You guys really stand out. You know that, right? Bolt, I, Galaxar, command you to hand over the prisoner. Gods, take this defective clone to the incinerator. Well, what are you waiting for? Bob. You, and you. Uh, seriously? Take the prisoner <laughs> and the defective clone to the incinerator. <laughs> Of course, sir. Here's a security pass, just in case. <laughs> would you like a gun? Yes, I would. Hey, guys, look. I believe you guys came to save me. Thank you. He's still holding the gun. <laughs> we monsters got to stick together. But I'm not a monster anymore. You'll always be nothing but a filthy carbon-based life form. Hail Galaxa. Hail Galaxa. <laughs> <laughs> These disguises are the bomb. That's it. The only way to save the Earth. Hail Galaxar. Hail Galaxar. The only way to save the Earth. Hail Galaxar. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to save the Earth is to blow up this ship before the invasion starts. We need to find the main power core. Wait, could you direct us to the main power core? Above the extraction chamber. Awesome. A weapon like this needs to be in the hands of somebody responsible. <laughs> Hail Galaxar. Monsters. Monsters. Oh no. Attention, all aliens! Destroy no. all monsters! You want some of this? Prove your strength. Yes. You want to hurt my friends? You'll have to go through me. Oh no. Uh, right to cool. the core. This little cockroach man is amazing. He never dies. <laughs> like video game characters. <laughs> like we made it. Will Helms group. Oh, Bob. Yeah. Wow. That hurt. Blob did so good. O. M. G. Warning, intruder. <gasps> can Bob absorb that? <laughs> You'll never figure out my color code. Maybe she can. This won't be but a moment. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange, baby blue, purple. It's like DDR. That looks awesome. Most entire dance moves are no match for my security protocols. <laughs> my PhD is in dance. What? Security protocol breached. <laughs> Ship has been set to self-destruct in T minus six minutes. Well, launch the invasion then. Invasion no longer possible. They are getting through a lot of this pretty easily. Prepare my escape capsule. I thought the whole monsters versus aliens side would be a little bit harder. Living in what? Harder. Harder? It's kind of been uh, breezing through this. Yes. Yo, Galaxar. <laughs> We're not gonna make it! Blob will eat them and then jump real high into outer space. And they'll all be okay. Whoa. Oh, cool. Never mind. Keep going! No! 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 Get out of here while you still got the chance! I'm not leaving you guys! 
Rendezvous with Munga. He's outside the ship waiting for you. No. Susan, you finally have a chance to get your old life back. No. She doesn't want it. Absorb the Quantum Monaco and then open doors. Yeah. You can't do it. Female carbon-based life form, or Susan, not contained. What? That is not Susan. Oh my gosh, she knows cool. how to roll a professional rollerblader. Was that her career before she became <laughs> a freak? Cross the Earthling! It's like Back to the Future, but instead of hoverboards, it's rollerblades. She's got double space boards. You could have killed me! Then we understand each other. Now open the doors nice. and let my friends go. Let my people go! Escape capsule ready for transport. Have fun exploding. Her name's Susan and she lived with Derek for a long time. She can deal with him. She can deal with him. Now open the doors. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. There's nothing you can do about it. Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. And the name is Ginormica. Can she shoot herself and then... Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, girl, get it. Now she's made the choice to absorb... She has agency. It's been an honor knowing you, Doc. The feeling's mutual, my friend. I'll see you guys tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> did you catch it? She did it. By Hawkins' chair. Why do I think she's so much hotter as a giant? <laughs> <laughs> she's literally just the same, but bigger. 3D! Total annihilation. That's all right, Blob will save you. Where's Monger? He's supposed to be here! Oh! Oh my god. Yay! Aww. Yay! Like Mothma. You're alive! <laughs> oh, she's like a full kaiju. You're a butterfly. Cool. Three. Come on! Come on! Two. One. No! He yells. Hmm, nothing happened. Maybe my count. <laughs> oh, they're being celebrated. So cute. We're the guardians they're of the heroes. galaxy. Heroes! <laughs> they got fans. <laughs> Run into Blob. Ever since you were a baby, I knew that someday you would, you know, save the Earth from an invasion from outer space. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Uh, coming through. How are you? Uh, oh, my God. No, Flick sir. Him. Get the F out of here. Baby, I thought long and hard about what happened. Baby. Mm -mm. And I want you to know I forgive you. You're canceled. I just got a call from New York. They offered me network. All I have to do is get an exclusive interview from you. Flick him. That's amazing. Is the camera rolling? Absolutely. <gasps> oh, Goodbye, Derek. Derek. She flicked him. Yeah. See you later, Deedle. <laughs> you are a selfish jerk. <laughs> Escargetua is slowly making its way to Paris. Now who's with me? I'm in. Count me in too. Yeah. Did they ever make a sequel of this? Monsters go to Paris. If they didn't. Monsters versus French. Goodbye, Derek. Good luck getting over me. Uh, Bob, it's me he's never going to get over. Set off to the golden hour again. That two-timing jerk. <laughs> Everything was in golden hour or it was nighttime. And I appreciated it. Make sure if you're listening on Apple or Spotify that you rate us and review us. We would really love it. 
Everyone, let's welcome my new chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General W.R. Monger. What a great way, sir, to celebrate my 90th birthday. 90th? I have assembled a preliminary budget estimate for the rebuilding of San Francisco. Zoinkers, this is going to be a boring one. <laughs> How do you take it? Hit me with a double venti organic <laughs> chocolate brownie caramel frappuccino. Extra hot with one inch of foam. Non fat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Time to wave the white flag and head for the bunker, boys. Mm -hmm. Let's check on the situation in 500 years. Who wants to freeze my head? <gasps> 3D. <laughs> uh, okay. This movie was fun. Yeah, man, that was a lot of fun. And hey. What? Hey, you know what's great? A word from our sponsors. <laughs> Thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring this video. And guys, I've said it many times, they are my favorite brand to work with. Mainly because it's my favorite product that I consume every single day. They were a partnership that I personally sought out because I had already been using their products for months prior to ever working with them. So I was excited when they were like, all right, fine, we'll work with you because you keep begging us to. What you guys can do, like I have right here, you know, this is a powder version. I got a bunch of different powders in my in my kitchen. They work just as effective. They help me with my focus, my energy. What I love is that I don't feel like I crash. It is just pitch perfect. It's a great thing to mix. And also, you know, it's not an official pre-workout, but I often use it as a pre-workout as well. I love them. And you could use our link in the description box to get yourself 20% off select tubs. However, um, I just wanted to give a personal message to uh, my brand manager. The brand manager over there, uh, I won't say his name, but recently we negotiated. Now, you might know a couple months ago, I was like, you know what, guys, I'll go with a lower rate if you send me just double the amount of G Fuel cans. And they agreed to it because why wouldn't they? And now I've even optioned for that again. I've even asked for less money, <laughs> but for more cans. Right now, this past week, G Fuel rep, where are my cans? It's been like three days since we had this conversation. And I know that we only just struck this new deal, but I'm itching for them cans. And before you guys know it, I'm taking you on my journey. I'm going to have a year's supply worth of G Fuel cans, and I'm pretty sure that will be the second studio's background. It's just a bunch of cans that should be recycled. I don't know if it's a good look for G Fuel being like, hey, I ordered these. But then again, I have ordered about, I want to say like six months worth of G Fuel cans. <laughs> it's it's a little ridiculous now that I think about just how much I have coming in. Thank you, G Fuel. And oh yes, getting them is, is a great way to, you know, help support the channel as well. Because whenever you buy from them, it lets them know. You, you guys know how it goes. It helps and helps keep, helps us keep this relationship as well. And it benefits you too. What'd you think, Tara? Tara? I like the movie, you guys. <laughs> Get out of town, okay? <laughs> now listen, she comes to find herself in her true nature. She leaves that guy behind. And he's like, I choose to be giant and I support her. She becomes a strong, independent woman who realizes she don't need a man, um, which, you know, that's like, that's it's like nice, me, that's except nice I'm not message. giant. So I'm not giant, but like, I don't need a man, right? I'm a strong, independent woman. And um, I saw a lot of me in her, and I'm sure she saw a lot of her in me. Yeah. Um, for sure. Uh, the casting was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, really good. I liked all the voices and, um, you know, me love me some Reese. She's so, she's so cute and just the best. Perfectly cast. So good. And yes, the cameras, uh, the cameras, the shots in this, <laughs> <laughs> like the DP and the, the camera angles, whoever did camera assist on this, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Long tracking shots, one shots. I always appreciate in every movie. I always call that out. If it's a long shot and it's moving, Yes, sir, re. I'm into it. Also, love they always shot a golden hour. It is nice and pretty in the background, always, except well, for not at always. Night. For mostly of the part, except for when it was night, and then you could see stars, so they exactly. made it pretty at all times. Greg, I was getting there. That's all I got to say. I think you can you just say your opinion now. What did you not like about it? <sighs> Let me think. Let me think. Because I really wasn't. Uh, I was never, was never really bored during this. Uh, and but I, I definitely started thinking about a lot of other things when I was watching. <laughs> yeah, me too. I got distracted thinking of like, things I need to buy or stuff I need to get done in my life <laughs> a little bit. But like, 
But at the same time, I wasn't mad at it. I, I was totally joking. Were you thinking, was that really how it happened with you? Is that what really happened with you? I can see it happening with you. For a moment in time, I was like, oh, you need to get almond milk on the way home. And <laughs> that was it. That was, it was only that one little thought. The rest of the time, I was not bored, okay? <laughs> it, I just, and I really liked, okay, I also liked when she does her whole um, uh, speech to all of them and like, you guys all do these great things. Uh, I like that little moment. It was a little heart to heart to when they truly became a family. Mm -hmm. And I really like that. It was super cute. Um, there was nothing that I didn't like that I thought was dumb or didn't make sense. Right, right. It was all great. It was all good. Yeah, I love the world of this a lot. It's a, it's very much a an homage to uh, an earlier era of sci-fi movies. It's got kind of that mix of like Incredibles meets Mega Mind. I think DreamWorks animation. Uh, I, I still feel like in a lot like there's a while where Pixar was the dominant one and DreamWorks was looked at as the secondary one. And maybe that still is the association just because of the prestige that Pixar has. Right. However, I think like DreamWorks more often than not, they really know how to, they really know how to nail it. Like the, sometimes their camera work is just so phenomenal. I don't know if there's any, like the How to Train a Dragon was something that we really loved. I love the yep. Kung Fu Panda movies. I love Megamind. Uh, there's a lot of fantastic uh, DreamWorks films. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this one did well or not. Uh, like part of me really got caught up in that. Because you you notice like oh is this how she gets her hair white I didn't even realize I was the same person and I didn't real and I've seen the poster so many times for Monster vs Aliens I don't yeah. recall if I've ever seen the trailer for it no I have because I really knew nothing about this movie before going into it other than like I'm assuming it's about monsters and aliens right I never realized she was giant and even looking <laughs> at the poster now I'm like oh that did not communicate to me it it constantly just looked like a woman like some a woman next like to badass like badass action hero yeah. with a uh, with a, with and I think the the giant part of it completely gets lost on the posters mm -hmm. and the and some of the marketing unless I'm assuming if you've seen the trailer and I feel like that's such an integral thing to communicate that she is one of the monsters right you know because she just looked like lead of a bunch of cartoony monsters yeah I agree and I think that might have helped I don't know if this movie was a hit or not but. You're saying if they changed the poster to make it look like she was a I monster, it would have helped. I think it might have effectively yeah. communicated. Like, even for me, it immediately skyrocketed my interest once I realized, oh, she is one of the monsters. Yeah. I, I thought she was just some, like, government action hero just based off of images alone. Is there something else after the credits? No, okay. Yeah, I, I thought that's what, what the case might be. Yeah. Um, but I loved... I, I loved her character because I found myself very uh, endeared to her and I rooted for her. And I, I just love the placement of like our monster is anything but that. And they don't really like it's a heroin situation for her, but they don't lean into the darkness in, in terms of tone for her. They still kept it very lighthearted. Yeah. Yet I still really, I, I really rooted for her and I loved our our core cast of characters. I love the, who played the, was that Hugh Laurie who played yeah. the uh, doctor scientist yes. guy? Um, yeah, that sounds probably right, right? Yeah, yeah Okay, is. Okay, the Dr. Cockroach, yeah. I yeah. thought he was great. Uh, uh, out of the four, he was my second favorite. Um, and I, I liked, uh, I liked the missing link, Will Arnett's voice work. I, mm -hmm. I did kind of, like I love them all, their chemistry and their, I love their personalities. I did feel like um, Link di could have used a couple of more things that demonstrated his prowess mm -hmm. for the situations yeah. at hand. So they felt more like an essential group, kind of like a Guardians of the Galaxy or the Suicide Squad, where you do see the necessity for each one of them. Yeah. And Link was one that... If there are moments there, but I think that's the stuff that is the easiest to overlook or, or uh, not really remember because yeah. he didn't really get as many sh truly shiny moments that zero in on what necessitates him as part of the core group. Right. But I like the voice work. Uh, Seth Rogen as Bob would kind of go up and down for me of whether or not it was funny or not. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes he was super duper funny. 
but overall, I just really like the um, science fiction world it inhabits and the overall heart that this movie has. And, and yeah, the way this film is shot, every, every frame just feels so composed. There's like wonderful throwback music uh, throughout. And uh, yeah, there's just like overall science fiction flair. And the other thing that I did find myself craving is why I liked the Gal. I, I thought Galaxar had some funny moments that I thought riffed on some cliches. Like I love the whole bit or his telling his backstory. Yeah, that like, was all, that was very funny. When they're making fun of like how villains just monologue their mm-hmm. backstory out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Rain Wilson, perfect voice work for yeah. that character. Very good. A lot of times, characters who get like multiple eyes often just see in the same direction. So I like how they really paid attention to the details. Oh, right. Like they're moving around different. Yeah. Yeah. They can, you could see it like observing different things at once. And sometimes yeah. they do work in unity. I did think, though, that as much as he's like intergalactic genius, again, that was something that I feel like they could have fleshed out a little bit more. So that way we, I think that's when I was, I wasn't checking out necessarily, but I, I did f- like the at the times I was having the most fun and found this the most exciting was before they got on his ship. Yeah, agreed. Before the team got there, because I I weirdly felt like this is when the stakes should be the most ramped up, mm-hmm. but they're kind of getting through things in a in kind of just a funny, quick way, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm losing some of the threat of Galaxar. Yeah, because remember the very first thing, I was like, that was quick. When they got the gun, they killed the guy. And then yeah. they're like, thanks for saving me, guys. I was like, oh, okay. I'll give you one joke. I'll give you like one joke, fine. Yeah. But then it was like, that's kind of just how, like, oh, the brain, how are we going to do this? I'm going to do a dance off thing. You yes. know, like, oh, I just kind of kept going through it quickly. And, yeah. and so I thought the threat level of him, which when you're calling it monsters versus aliens, I think they really could have used Amped a little bit up. more of the threat of the alien yeah. side. But in terms of them attempt, was there a sequel to, do you know, Tara? I don't know. Monsters versus I don't know anything, aliens. really. S- sequel? Let's just type it in. I don't know. Sequel? The film started a franchise with uh, a video game. And I could see that being uh, the case. Because yeah. there, there, there were parts of it that felt like video game levels. And the way they worked as a team, and I and I don't know what the game looks like. I'm learning this for the first time right now. But I could, if you tell me they made a video game, like yeah, I absolutely could see that because there were parts that totally reminded me of a video game. Yeah. But I imagine that what they were trying to do was set up a franchise and like like a Marvel movie or a number of superhero films. When you're setting up the team, it's like yeah, I really like the protagonist. I really like the core characters. They got a great back and forth. They're a team of misfits, and I love them coming together. Villains a little weak. But the main core characters, yes. and maybe they can improve upon the villains in a sequel. And that's kind of where I'm sitting here, <laughs> is like, that was the vibe the movie left me with. But I feel like that's what DreamWorks does, because DreamWorks make Madagascar, right? Yeah. I've been watching that with John, and my uh, my main complaint in, is that DreamWorks doesn't really hit it hard. They always keep it kind of light, and there's not enough like heart or villainous danger. That's true. Yeah. That one... Ooh, yeah. that got me. That was me. like amazing. But in the Madagascar and in this one, I mean, we we do get a heart like a little bit there when um when she's giving the talk to them mm-hmm. and she's I like that she found out on her own that Derek is a jerk, right? She just kind of yeah. sits there and is like no one had to tell her or convince her or be like, "Hey girl, listen up. He's a jerk and he's selfish." Like she just yeah. realized it on her own, which I really like that character character development uh for her character specifically i really enjoyed that um and i i liked that part that part was like had heart and some emotion in it which was cool the rest of it was like yeah just kind of like light and airy is i feel like how dreamworks does it which i have you seen kung fu panda Yes, a this, long time ago. I don't think I've seen. There's is there multiple. The second one's my favorite, and the second one gets I've, a lot like that. The second one it slaps hard. Really? Yeah, yeah. They go, okay. they go there with some shit. See, those awesome. are the kind of films I yeah. like. Like hit it hard, make yeah. me feel some stuff. Have you not seen? Have you seen Make a Mind? I d- I don't Make a Mind. Think pretty, so? Pretty. I no. I get it. Like like Maybe? I felt I fell off the Ice Age franchise. Um, pretty early on. Yeah, I like. I mean, I stopped Shrek after Shrek three. So, 
Uh, no, I get it. Like, uh, there's a lot of DreamWorks movies I just have com- completely skipped. Yeah, like if you can't pull me in with the emotions and yeah. like the plot line, then I'm not. I'm I'm thinking about almond milk. You know? <laughs> but, but I was very much uh, connected to uh, what was her Susan. Susan, I, yes. Like, like, and it's really cool because they didn't they didn't really set her up. A lot of times in these movies, what what they'll do is all right. Let's give Susan some like terrible personal life beforehand and they didn't really give her like this sure she was clearly marrying a narcissist but that was about it um which is not good but they didn't do this whole thing where like her parents disapprove of her or she's had some traumatic backstory or some bullshit right right they they kept it relatively simple and the the pain inflicted on her is the tragedy of having the meteorite um, you know, uh, uh, take her. over her body and become yeah. this giant. So I, I thought like making that the core, the, the wound for her to deal with was made it very compelling that also thrust the plot forward. So I was very much connected to her. Like when she's trying to run away during the city and is scared and then she yeah. starts finding her strength naturally from protecting these people. I thought it was like, that was such a, an amazing sequence to me. I thought that entire sequence, both visually and emotionality wise, and the way they capture the scale and the scope of everything, I thought was excellent. Um, even when she's sort of becoming more embracing the monster when she's attacking Galactus or whatever his name is, mm-hmm. uh, the way how they switch that where he's running away from her. Yeah, and, to the and, point of view where she now is the monster. Yeah, I thought that was excellent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I re- and I really, I really loved all that, and and um, and I forgot what the like. I was doing that thing where I'm talking and I'm like giving a lot of praise. So that way I could lead into some other criticism mm-hmm. I had. And I completely, forgot. For, I completely forgot, forgot what the criticism was. He thinks it's uh, perfect. Yeah. I mean, the movie, I, I really thought it was great. Like, yeah. I, I really did. I wonder what the, I wonder what the critic score is on. They did a great job, especially when um, she finally gets to the bridge. Yeah. And the way that she becomes a hero is by saving people, which is great that, you know, it wasn't just saving her friends, like the monsters. It was like, Oh, these people are in danger, and she is now choosing to be not even choosing with her realizing it, but she's now a monster who's going to become a hero. And yeah, like her friends are going to only want to be on her team because she's shown so much strength and bravery that they didn't really have until she got there. Um, and I think she's only raised them up, and now they're going to go kick some butt. But they didn't make another one, so. Yeah, man, that uh, that was great. Special effects, surprisingly low audience score. That's surprising. yeah, it was pretty low, fifty nine percent. People didn't really love it very much. That's that's surprisingly low for this movie. Yeah. I feel like a lot of more love has come around for it. Yeah, uh, maybe that's just well, it does say two hundred fifty thousand ratings. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's a lot of people. That's but, insane. It's a lot of people rating this movie. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder why. Monsters um, versus Aliens, a box office. I wanted to see if this was a hit. Man, it seemed like it did pretty well. The, oh, the, good. They doubled, they the, a, doubled the budget. How did it not get a sequel? Hmm. Because people didn't like it? I don't or know. Or they just, well, it became a TV show, they said. They, ch- they turned it into a video game and then also a TV show. And apparently Insecta side is not in it. And people are like, why is uh. Insecto in it? Um, I read that while you were scrolling. <laughs> I'm a quick reader. Um, okay, so it's, I mean, I don't know, but anyway, no. Oh, who knows? I think it's the worldwide growth, so it's not enough. Oh, yeah. So maybe. It, oh, worldwide. Oh, if that was just dom- yeah. If it was just yeah, domestic, yeah. No, that's okay. not good enough. Uh, but yeah. no, the fan base has definitely uh, come around for it. But overall, no. I mean, I still really enjoyed it, and from the imagery I would see from posters and whatever little screenshots I would catch, I thought the visuals were way like, I was never really drawn to seeing this movie because I would see like a poster or something. And I was like, this looks like too kitty for me. Yeah. And I was, I agree. I was surprised by how visually striking the movie actually was and yeah. how good the special effects were. Yeah. Uh, like that was the main thing that was, uh, I, I thought this was going to look like so bad, <laughs> but yeah, that was surprising. But in terms of being like a sci-fi comedy, I think like it, it made me laugh plenty for a family film, surprisingly crass humor at times. Mm-hmm. And for sci-fi and animated movie, I thought they really leaned into a lot of great homages. Oh, I like the general guy too. I thought he was really Yeah, funny. that was Kiefer. That was Kiefer. That was Kiefer. Yeah, that I was knew it Kiefer. right away because I love him and I love that show 24. 
Oh, I was crazy. watching that when I was like six. That's when that, that show came out sure. when I was six. Sure. I was six. You keep telling the cast and directors who watch this <laughs> that that's, that's the reality of the situation. I'm only 22. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many youthful years left. Um, anyway. Okay, we should stop joking about your age. Yeah. I see it's starting to get to you. Is it? Yeah, I mean. You're... I feel fine right now. Yeah. Okay. The only one getting to me is me. I mean, Terry, you look great. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. I wore the, purple today. For your age. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Listen, do you have anything more to say? Yeah, guys. I would give this movie a 7 out of 10. Oh, really? I'd, I'd bump it to like a 7.85. Look at him go. Look at him <laughs> thriving. He's flying. <laughs> He's flying. Yeah. 7.8. I'm going to stick. What did I say? A seven. <laughs> I said a seven. It was 10 seconds went by and I already was like, <laughs> what? Um, these are issues that I have to deal with and that you also have to deal with if you're watching this or listening on Apple or Spotify. <laughs> Close us out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. We love you. Leave a like, leave a comment, be cool, nice, kind, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Join Patreon. We love you so much and we will see you on the next one goodbye this is for the sink oh man how do your ears not hurt what